Just plug here, right here, and back into the strap, which is right there. Um, I might actually just clean this fan up and reuse it. I do have a filter. Um, was on the last computer I had. I had a another fan that went on here, and then a filter over that, so that way it can keep this cool or not cool, but keep it clean. There we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep this thing as it is. I'm gonna do the same to the other one. And take this screw out too. All right, so get that fan out, and you see it's a lot cleaner. I am gonna wipe it out a bit. I haven't done that at all. Yeah, if you take a look here, still needs a proper clean, so I'm gonna have to do that. You got some more cleaning to do. All right, so what I gotta do now is just put everything back together. Um, my old fan, I'm using that. The other one's just too gross. Um, the other one I'm probably going to clean up and I'll probably put it on this side. Now I just got to deal with this little fella. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm going to be pulling out this fan. I already got this one set up. Check it out. Look how clean that is. I even washed this plastic piece in the sink there with some soap and hot water. Yeah, looks like it's brand new. Just gotta get this cord out because this one's going next. Alright, I might as well slide it out. There we go. Okay, I just gotta unplug it from the board so it's the right bottom. Well, at least that one has screws, so that's easier to deal with. Check that out. Where I go wash that in the sink too. Look how bad that is. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with that. I am going to clean them up because I will use them. I don't know if I'll use it in here. Maybe I'll just hold on to it as parts. Or if this thing does crap out, it craps out. All right. Well. No, I still gotta finish blowing this thing out. Uh, my air compressor, I can't really use it too much now because of the fact it's blowing um, water. So, I did drain the tank, but humidity is up right now, so. Nothing to do with that. Check that out. Nice and clean. Different fan, obviously, but um, this is one out of the other computer. But um, I'm just gonna put everything back together now, just to make sure it's nice and clean. And uh, I just got to rip apart uh, the door and clean that too. All right, everything is finally finished. It's nice and clean. It doesn't look really dirty like it did before. Take a look at the inside here. As you can see, it's all clean. That's a uh, fan off my other one. Same thing with that. Over there. I put the original batteries in because I want to actually see if this master I.O. board will actually charge them. Um, everything's ready to go. Hopefully don't get any air codes. And it's not starting up. It's plugged into the wall. Hmm. Technical issue. So apparently, I really had to push on the button. It's going to be running. Showing Alienware head, so obviously the BIOS is working. And... Is that the drives making that sound? So that fan's working. That fan's working, I feel it. Obviously, that one's going to be working. I can really smell it. Uh, is my top fan working? Yep, that one's working too. Okay. Alright, well, I know a post. I just have to format it now. 
Well, I guess I'm ready to install Windows. Ended up picking up Windows 10 Home Premium here. Um, I already obviously opened it because I thought this was going to be a CD, but apparently it is a USB stick. So that's kind of cool. Have two Western Digital terabyte drives here, which is going to be in RAID 0. I thought I would do this instead of solid state because I wanted longevity and a little bit of performance. I was going to go with Seagate Barracuda, but obviously I didn't have it. But these drives are designed for RAID, so I will be using them. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull the keyboard and mouse side panel off here. I'm going to take these drives out. They are no longer needed. And they're the wrong ones anyway, because they're Western Digital Blues. And this one here was just the operating system drive, so this system was running slow. And the packages, obviously not even open. I'm keeping these packages. It's always nice to have anti-static bags. Just for the heck of it, I thought I would show you guys uh, Windows 10, how it actually looks now. I don't know if any of you guys seen one of these boxes, but it's actually kind of cool. If you take a look here, we have uh, the key. I can't flip it around because I ain't giving you guys a code, but it's got this cool little flip out here. Tells you what you need to do. But I already know that, but here is the cool part. I already took the sticker off because I was messing around with it. Um, oh, there's a book. That part I haven't seen. I don't care. I just want this. I'm stuck in there. There we go. So, as you can see, um, apparently this is um, 32 and 64, so I take it that they have both versions on here. So that's cool. That's a smart idea. So having two different type of discs. So I'm gonna need that eventually. I shall keep it in there for now. Um, I gotta go into the BIOS first and set this computer up in RAID. Okay. Sorry if uh, it's not the best appealing setup that I got here. But I'm gonna turn on the computer and I'm gonna go to F12 or F2, I should say. Right, so I just turn on the computer. I'm just gonna keep tapping F2. Also, I gotta turn on the TV. Okay, yeah, here we are. So um, I gotta figure out where the heck RAID is. So that's BIOS features. No, that wouldn't be it. Where the heck would you be? Integrated devices. All right, here we are. Setup mode. RAID mode. That's what I want. Um, I want to go to boots here because we want. Okay, so it says USB hard disk. Why is that hard disk? That should be flipped. Hmm. Maybe USB hard disk? So we have hard disk here. UFI boot mode. I had this on Legacy in the past. We'll keep it on that for now. Just in case I may have to change it. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Alright, we got to me. It looks fine here. Hmm. I want to save. And I just want to go back in there again. Okay, now it's showing RAID. I just seen that. That's good. It showed uh, two drives um, that are about 900 and some gigs. That's true. Control Alt Delete. There we go. So let's create a RAID here. RAID at zero, that's what I want. Stripe, that works. Um, I'm okay with that. That's fine. I'll create volume. Warning, yeah, I don't care. There's nothing on them anyways. I don't think. 
So we have a member disk now, so they are attached as one here. So I'm getting 1.7 terabytes out of this. Here, let me change the camera view a bit. Sorry about that. Here we go. So yeah, volume zero, rate at zero, 128 kilobytes, um, 1.7 terabytes, normal, bootable, yes. So what RAID does is it'll take two uh, drives working together as one. So if you send a file over to uh, the operating system drive, it'll split that file into two and it'll be on those drives. So basically one drive will have half the file, the other drive will have the other half and it'll help speed things up by sending it to you. The only problem is though, if one drive fails, you got half the data on the other one, so you lost all your data. So high risk on losing your data, but I've never had issues with RAID. Let's just exit. Sure to exit, yes. It's already been formatted, it's ready to go. Oh, popped up. Windows 64, right away. I'm impressed I didn't actually have to go into F12 and load up the USB and then load Windows from there. So that was impressive. So I'm going to go through this process. And... Uh, one other thing I almost forgot to mention is if you take a look there, uh, this is the case. I've actually ripped this thing open too. I took the, uh, the panel off from the plastic. Uh, there's a couple other little panels on the inside with the LED strips. I cleaned all this up. Uh, the plastic itself, I actually stuck it in the shower and washed it in there. And um, actually a few other pieces I did in the sink like the fan parts. And that's pretty much it. Um, I, I should have recorded it, but I didn't. Well, here's my setup I got going on here. I have a bunch of hard drives there. I got two in there. Uh, those two are my operating system drives. I have two drive bays right here. These came out of my old computer. Uh, the top one here was actually meant for a card reader. Uh, so I had to put some electrical tape over it. As you can see, it looks like um, I don't have electrical tape until you get really, really close to it. And you can see some electrical tape there. As you can see, there's the inside of it. Uh, yeah, this was uh, inside of it. Uh, I did have another one that was complete plastic that went over here. Um, but it looks like I ripped it apart and I ended up cutting it. I don't know what I did there. But, uh, the two CD drives that are in there, uh, the DVD rewritable and the Blu-ray drive, I'm just going to pull them out. Nobody even uses that crap anymore. If I really, really desperate and need a CD drive, I do have a cable over here. Uh, this here will run IED to SATA and through USB. And there's uh, the power part for it anyway, so... Um, I've actually been using that for getting some of my drives set up. Uh, I got a pile of work I got to do by transferring data over, cleaning up my drives, and then getting them put in here. So, but Xbox is right there. It's plugged into the TV at the moment. Um, I haven't really been messing around with that at all lately. Uh, I got some LED lights for it. Check it out. I just put some in the back through this right here. This thing's still underneath warranty, so I, I haven't ripped it apart or anything. But uh, I got some LED strip lights on this TV, some on that one. This one doesn't have any yet. I need to get a connector for that. I ordered some, so they are going to be coming. Uh, for this right here, um, I found one of my filters for it right here as you can see this would uh, go over the radiator but right here but I had uh, another fan that would go in between that way you can try to suck more air through it because this kind of stops the airflow a bit but this one here if you take a look it's not too too bad but this is bulged out so if I have the fan blade near that it's just going to constantly rub on it I may have to just replace this completely. I did have another one. I don't know what happened to it. I did find that in the shed though. Um, I also did find uh, the power supply fan. Which, uh, this one doesn't seem to be too bad. I don't smell this anymore. 
Maybe it's just because I've been hovering by it for a few days now, but I don't seem to smell it anymore. Um, everything seems to be good, but yeah, I still got a lot of work to do. I've been working on the operating system. I've just been trying to get all my programs. Oh, the camera's going fuzzy there, but I've been trying to get all my programs, everything set up. So I got data I'm trying to do. Yeah, um, my other keyboard, uh, the Alienware keyboard, I actually have it down here. Um, do, 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 do. I seriously have a lot of these freaking things. That's an Alienware keyboard. I got one there. I have a box that's right there with a brand new one not even opened up. I have one out in the living room. I got one in the back room. I got the one that comes with the computer. I got these keyboards up the butt. I actually really like those keyboards. They're really nice. So I'm definitely going to hook it up. But that one there, I was using my Raspberry Pi. I'm just temporarily using that for now. But still got a lot of work to do.